What is up, everybody? It's Osmosis. I've been in, you know, a little while. About a month now since I made video. Since we got the bye week, I figured why not come on here and uh, make a video. Just going to talk about how things have been going with the team. You know, we're sitting at 6 and 2, which is pretty good. Um, you know, if we do that the rest of the way here, that'd be 12 and 4. You know, that'd be a pretty good record. And, you know, probably win this division. I don't know. You know, it's going to be a close one with Seattle here. But, you know, hopefully we can, you know, keep going and, you know, like we've been doing the last month. So, what's up? You know, last uh, month and a half, just haven't really felt like making videos. We've been playing against, you know, teams that it's kind of pointless to make <laughs> videos for. Or, you know, we played, you know, these teams in the AFC. You know, some of them don't even have fans on here. And I'm just like, whatever. It's not a rival game. And, you know, even, you know, we played the Rams. I was just like, the hell's the point? You know. <laughs> so, here we are by 6 and 2. Got some big games coming up this second half of the schedule. Um, you know, if we're able to go 6 and 2 or 7 and 1, I think that would be, that would put us, you know, in a very good position for playoffs. Um, you know, I'll be making video for the Panthers game just because who the hell are you going to fucking make a video for? Um, you know, for the Saints game, I'm leaning towards no just because Dumb beat their ass the last two years and it's just going to be the same shit that they, those Saints fans spew out every, you know, every year. They think they're God and they're not. Um... <laughs> You know, I don't fear one-dimensional teams. So, you know, yeah, Saints, you're a one-dimensional team. We got Drew Brees throwing the ball. Stop him, you can win the fucking game. And our defense can stop him. Proven that the last couple of times. So, leave it at that. Redskins game. You know, I'm, I'm highly expecting us to win this game the way the Redskins have just been, you know, doing... Eh, next to nothing, and RG3 just ain't the player he was. He might still, you know, he's probably hurting and shouldn't be playing. But, you know. Then you got uh, the Rams and Seahawks. Uh, and start off December. Rams game, we should beat their ass again. And then the Seahawks game, this game is going to be huge. Um, you know, who knows where the standings are going to line up, if we're going to be tied, or, uh, if we're going to be, um, and my cat in the background, um, you know, one game behind, so, you know, or who knows, we will end up being ahead of them, <laughs> you yeah, know, but it's going to be a big game for the division, and, you know, well, I think, you know, the way things are going, you know, it looks like Seattle's kind of going down a little bit. You know, they barely got by the Rams last week. Probably should have lost that game, honestly. Um, you know, if they bring that kind of game to Candlestick, we're going to beat their ass. You know, no doubt about it. So, you know, we're going to be getting players back. Mangham's and back, Crabtree's going to be back. Expect us to be going up, and they might just be going down a little bit. Um, you now I expect with you know things are you know unfolding, we're both probably going to make the playoffs. You know, one's going to be the division winner, when the other one's going to be the top wild card team. That's how I think it's going to go. So we'll see. Um, you know, beyond that, 
Uh, the following week we got the Buccaneers. We should win that game. Um, then we got Monday Night Football, the last game of the regular season at Candlestick, last Monday night game against the Falcons. Now that game looked like we're, we definitely should win that because the Falcons are, you know, going in the tank a little bit here. I mean, it's lost to the Cardinals and I think they only have two wins or something. It's, you know, but who knows, we'll see. Um, we'll come back to that in a minute because I got something else to talk about regarding that game. And then, you know, we finish off the season at Arizona where we should beat them again, you know. Yeah, they put up, you know, a little bit better of a fight than I figured, you know, at Candlestick Park, but we're going to have, you know, Crabtree and Manningham back, and then, right, we're going to be doing good. So I expect us, you know, go in there and beat those guys again. Um, you know, defensively, I think we've been playing pretty good as of late, and, you know, we've decided on offense to run the ball and, you know, have, you know, run the ball and then, you know, throw when we need to. Um, you know, Kaepernick hasn't put up, you know, some godly numbers, so people have been like, oh, look, he ain't doing so well, and I'm like, you know, I think he's been doing pretty well considering, you know, the receiver situation. You know, everyone's been gunning for him running, you know, his option, trying to shut that down. You know, last game, uh, you know, last couple games he's been able to run the ball, but, you know, you know, that was expected this year. So, you know, be sitting 6-2, feeling pretty good about it. Okay. And then, last thing I want to talk about is fucking me, I got lucky somehow, won me a bid, and I am going to be able to go to the final 49ers regular season game. Uh, you know, the final Monday night game, who knows the way things unravel, it could be the last 49ers game at Candlestick Park at all, I don't know, I hope not. I hope not. We need those home playoff games the right way for us to, you know, and Candlestick Park is to get the NFC Championship back there and win it. So, but anyways, I'm going to be at Candlestick Park December 23rd, Monday Night Football, uh, with my dad, and it's going to be fucking awesome. You know, one last time, Candlestick Park, and it's going to be fucking great. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of pe people from here on there, you know, to get in a, you know, big spendy uh, game. So, <laughs> we're just, uh, if you can come, it's going to be great. If you can't understand, because tickets are fucking expensive. So, I just can't wait for that. Um... You know, hopefully we'll be in a really good position at that time, second to last week of the season. Uh, you know, re it's a rematch the NFC Championship. The Falcons aren't looking like they're doing so well this season, so, you know. But, you know, it's still going to be a blast, and uh, I just can't, <laughs> I can't wait for it, you know. So... That's the big news. And hope I can see everybody out there here uh, about a month and a half. So that's all I'm going to really talk about for now. Uh, expect a video for at least the Seahawks game because that's going to be a big one. Uh, you know, Pig Pen, I know you haven't been making vids since our game week two so hopefully you'll come back for this game um, and then I'll probably make a video for the Falcons game just cuz I'm gonna be fucking going to it and shit now I don't know if live in the ATL and those guys are gonna wanna battle it out that week or not considering how their team may be doing at that time but we'll see um, just yeah 
And if anyone, you know, these people that have been bitching, why aren't you on here making videos every week? Well, because I don't have to. I can fucking make videos when I want to. So shut your fucking mouths. I, you know, I've been on here for years, and I just, you know, I decided this year I'm going to make the videos for the ones that matter the most. You know. You know, and for fan bases that deserve it, I and mean, I don't need to be making videos for fan bases that are just retarded and say the same bullshit over and over again. So, I'm out of here. Fucking go Niners. Let's beat some, you know. You got Panthers next. Beat their ass. Beat fucking Saints ass. Beat fucking... Redskins, Seahawks, and Brands, be all our fucking asses. Let's get us back to the playoffs. Go back to that fucking Super Bowl and get W. That's what this season's all about. So, I'm out. Talk to everybody later.